What up everyone welcome back to the channel Jamal here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can use Eclipse to connect with your GitLab repository so you can create a new project or push an existing project. So let's get started. Alright so the first thing you want to do is just go to Google and what you want to type in is GitLab and what you want to do is just simply scroll down until you see sign in GitLab so click that link All right, from here, you want to do is sign in if you have an account. So you put in your username or email and you put, then you put your password. But if you don't have an account, just simply click register now. And what you want to do is just simply enter your first name, last name, create your username, email, and then simply hit register. Since I already have an account, I'm just gonna log in real quick. So from here, now I'm on the GitLab dashboard, I'm in the back end. So what I'm going to do right now is pretty much click create a project. And what I want to do is create a blank project. And from here, what we're going to do is give it a project name. I'm just going to say GitLab demo. And now what we can see, we have our project URL and we have our project slug. All right, so in the description, what I'm going to do is simply call this creating my very first GitLab project that looks good make sure you keep your visibility level to private click, click create project all right so now we have just created our first project we can see the GitLab demo project has been created we have one commit one branch no tags so now we have our main there's only one branch which is our main branch next if we open up this plus icon you can see we can do a new file upload a new file um, new branch and new tag but what we're going to be focusing on is pretty much this blue button over to the right the clone so you click that and you can do clone with ssh or you can clone a project via https and in this example we're going to be using the https so i'm just going to come back and we're going to copy that url all right so now we have our gitlab project what i'm going to do is open up eclipse from here i'm just going to resize my screen a little bit all right so right now i don't have any projects open but what you want to do once you have eclipse launch you want to go to window scroll down to show view and then click other so what we're going to do is pretty much bring back the git repository and the git staging so make sure click shift and cut and click both of these items and then click open perfect so now this is going to give us access to Git so we can see the folders and the stuff in our files to make sure everything is updated. So I'm just going to walk you through that process. Since we're here, what we want to do is you can either add an existing local Git repository, you can clone a Git repository, or create a new local Git repository. Okay, so since we already created a Git repository or a Git project, I'm just going to use the project that we have over here. I'm just going to clone that into Eclipse. All right, I'm just going to resize my screen. All right, everything looks good. Got everything aligned. What I'm going to do is simply do clone a Git repository since I have one created over here already. All right, so just click clone a Git repository. So what we want to do is we have the location, it asking for the URI, it's asking for the host and repository path. So all you have to do is go to the clone and then what we're going to do is simply copy that HTTPS. You just want to paste this into the URI. And now what you can see, the host and the repository path would be automatically filled. And now we want to do is simply authenticate. So what you want to do is simply enter that username that you created for your GitLab account and enter the password as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click store in a secure store and what this is going to allow me to do is not re-authenticate every time I push to git and I'm just going to hit next. So what I'm going to do is say push this into the main branch and then simply click next. All right, make sure everything looks good in your destination. All right, now we're seeing this secure storage. So since we created that, um, since we checked that checkbox, what you're going to do is simply click yes. And you're just going to fill in some questions just in case you have to reset your password. So whatever questions you want to give it, give it your answer. And that should be really quick. All 
All right, now that we have that set, now we have that um, GitLab branch into our Eclipse project, and that looks good. So now what I'm gonna do is simply create a new project. So go to new, and I'm gonna go into other, and I'm gonna click a uh, Maven project. And from here, I'm just gonna click next. And what you wanna do from here is give it a group ID. You can give it any name you want. It doesn't have to be the same name in the GitLab. So in this case, I'm just gonna give it GitLab demo test. I'm just gonna copy that group ID and paste it in an artifact ID. And that looks good. Just hit finish. And now we have a new project created. So what we're gonna do is simply uh, push this project into our GitLab and see how that looks. So what you wanna do is scroll down into new, go to team, and then under that, what you wanna do is click share project. Once we enter this prompt, what you wanna do is go to repository, make sure you have the GitLab demo checked and make sure everything looks good and then click finish. All right, what I'm gonna do right now is just create a new simple package. I'm just gonna call this com.jamal.test. And in here, I'm just gonna create a new class and I'm just gonna call this GitLab demo test. All right, then click finish. All right, so in this class, what we're just gonna do is just simply add a few comments and just push it into GitLab and see what that does. So I'm just gonna put a comment, push in my first class to GitLab. All right, click save. No, what we wanna do is just simply scroll down and go into the Git staging. So in the Git staging, you unstage changes. So these are all the new files that was in our project. And these are the files that are not in GitLab as yet. So what we want to do is simply click shift and make sure you select all these files and then you want to drag them into your stage changes. All right, so what this is going to do is get it prepared to be pushed into GitLab. So all you have to do right now is just simply add a comment. And I'm just going to say, add in my new files and class to get. All right, now what I'm going to do is just simply click commit and push and let's see what happens. Now we see push into GitLab. Everything looks good. We got a result and this is a good successful message. We have our comment, so click close. Now if I go back into GitLab and I hit the refresh button, now we can see we have the GitLab demo test. We have the files and everything looks great. And we can actually go into that class, get demo test, and we can actually see the comment that we just created. And that's beautiful. I'm gonna add another comment. I'm just gonna say, hello world. I'm just gonna show you what happens now in the unchanges. So you don't have all those files. You only have that one file that we affected. And now what we can do is simply add a comment. But before we go in there, I'm just gonna go into the project and I'm gonna go back into the teams. Before we only had shared project, but now we have all these list of options since we're connected to GitLab. So you have all these advanced stuff and we can dive into that later on. You can actually delete the branch, synchronize, create tag, clean, and so much other useful features. But these are some advanced um, features. But for now, what I'm gonna do is show you what happens if you try to pull. All right, so we get this prompt saying everything was up to date. So even though we added that comment, we haven't pushed it into our GitLab. And now I'm gonna show you how you can make sure your local changes are updated. So what you wanna do is make sure add your commit message. So I'm just gonna say add hello world comment. Make sure you have your unchanges file in the staged um, section. If not, you won't get the commit and push. Now that it's highlighted, click commit and push and let's see what happens. So now we have another successful message. Click close. And what I'm gonna do is simply just go back into GitLab, do a quick refresh. And now we have our file that was updated 12 seconds. Everything it was three minutes ago. So that was the only file that got updated. And that's exactly what we want to happen. So if I go into that file, we can see the hello world comment. Perfect. All right, so what if you have an existing project? So we just saw how you can do it with a new project. But in this case, let's say I have my Gherkin testing project that I already built. So I'm just gonna open it up real quick. So in here, I already have a list of my packages. I already have various files in here and you may as well. So I'm just gonna show you what you can do to push this existing project into GitLab. All right, so I'm just gonna hop back over to GitLab and we're just gonna repeat the same process what we did before. 
So what I'm gonna do is just click the menu, click projects, and from there, you're gonna scroll down towards the bottom, click create new project. And what we're gonna do is just create a simple blank project. And we're just gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it Gherkin Test. Inside the project description, I'm just gonna give it a simple description such as, this project is to store my existing Gherkin project. Make sure visibility is set to private, make sure everything looks good, and just simply click create project. All right, so now we have our brand new Gherkin test project. And what we're gonna do is simply go back into our Eclipse. So what I'm gonna do is just go back to Git repository. So if I do right click, you can see all these options. But if you scroll over to the right, these options are available as well. So what I wanna do is simply clone this project. So I'm just gonna click clone a Git project. And what we're gonna do is hit the clone button and we're gonna copy that HTTPS again. And we're just gonna paste that into the UI. And then all of this will be auto populated for us. Once we're on the next page, what we're gonna do is make sure we're on the main, everything looks good. Click next and make sure what directory and everything is set and then click finish. So now we have our Gherkin test project connected with our Eclipse. So go to the Gherkin test and project, scroll down on the team. And then you wanna do is simply click share project in here. Now that I have two, I'm just gonna make sure the Gherkin test project is selected. All right, now everything looks good. Go into the Git staging. Now we can see all the files that I have from that project. And what I wanna do is click, click Command A to select everything. And I'm just gonna put that into the stage changes. Now I'm gonna give it a commit message, pushing my existing project files to Git. Just click the commit and push. So now since this project has a couple files in there, it will take some time to push all this data into GitLab, but let's give it a little bit of time and let's see what happens. All right, now that we have our successful message, let's head back into GitLab. What I'm gonna do is simply click a quick refresh and now we can see our Gherkin test project is uploaded successfully. We had all our files and this is exactly what we want. So now I can just click into one of my, let's say my driver manager and you can see my file right here. So everything looks good and so there you have it this is how you can connect your GitLab repository with Eclipse you can use it for creating a brand new project as well as uploading an existing project and if you guys have any issues or questions please feel free to drop them in the comment if this video was helpful please feel free to smash that like button subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on another video